Professor King, why don't you um, talk a little bit about that landscape and what we can expect out of the White House panel chaired by Vice President Biden and what's likely to, to happen in the Congress that we have today? Uh, well, the White House panel will report in a month or so, maybe less. Uh, it'll be a couple of suggestions, presumably around high-capacity magazines. I wouldn't anticipate that much happens directly from that. Uh, I want to underscore that elected representatives respond to activists, people who are activated. Everyone in this room cares about something. You are an activist waiting to be activated. Everyone listening is an activist waiting to be activated. Uh, and if this is something that you care deeply about, then you have to become involved, right? Uh, it's not enough just to complain that policy isn't changing or social norms aren't changing. Nothing changes until you and your colleagues, your friends, get activated together. Um, so complaining isn't enough. Great. I think in Congress what we are more likely to see is on a different dimension. Uh, it's the Judiciary Committee in the House and the Senate that will be handling the gun laws. Uh, and there is an inter interesting constellation, constellation of uh, forces now that will move towards a national ID card. If we're going to have a stringent, strict, believable uh, national registry and background checks, um, there is a political coalition that will support a national ID card. The national ID card also supported by uh, some voting rights activists. Um, uh, certainly the Homeland Security uh, community is behind a national ID card. I think that's the kind of thing that will be thrown in here, will fracture both liberals and conservatives and redefine the issue. Right. And immigration will... Immigration is going to be part of the solution. Right. So to the extent that immigration is high on our, uh, on our list of things to be concerned about, um, and certainly gun violence, uh, the national ID card will be within a month or two something we're all talking about. Okay. But, but, but we should know that, note that immigrants typically have much lower violence rates than native than, than people in the United sure. States. It just takes them a generation or so to, to get up to our speed yeah. in terms of being violent. <laughs>